Oh, right, that's on Steam. Let's see what the fuck this is. I like when a game actually gives you a preview. Perito. That's the best game that takes just into account to shape your answers to other characters. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Jesus Christ, little kid, really? Do I have to? Can you tell Why me what happened to them? Why did you learn that I'm you piece of shit? I... I went to show her my haircut. I decided to give her she one. Had a gun. Cut her head entirely. Take your time. Do I have to deal with kids in the game? She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. Skip. It's not. She didn't kill you. Little fucking character. Get the fuck out of my goddamn screen. Also, unless you try to kill you with a frog with her, you're all good. Fucking god, do I have to do this every fucking time? Was made after the why? 
What the? Oh fuck! Sorry for the Nazi American flag, guys. I didn't. <sighs> I'm not wrong to it. Are you pedos or something? Why are you so heavily focused on some random garbage like school? Switched off all the sound. What the f She's talking, why are you not talking game? I have subtitles on. And no, no fucking teenager would clean the room like that. Just throw this shit anywhere. Okay, first, I'm gonna find the keys to the old house. Then, I'm gonna drive to Fireweed, and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. Did you get off yourself? Yeah, you play. Oh my fucking god, every fucking game. Gonna see any stars at this time of day. Just through the fucking. <laughs> I've been practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty. I could look at this artwork all day. Let's not. Why would it be in here? I can fix this. No, I cannot. And you put it there, you're the only person here. One more season. What am I even gonna do with myself when it's over? Get invested in the lives of real people? No, real people suck. Virtual people are the best. I have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I what wonder if Tyler would want to go. What do you mean, Nightwatch? Hey, I you wanna freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on my sales pitch. Nightwatch was a great book, apparently. I never read it. And I uh, love the movie. You fucking examined it. In no. In my desk drawer, maybe? I should probably check my email one more time before I go. No, I've already done that three times this morning. Time against... Don't care. I need to bring this with me to Juno. What the fuck's Juno? I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want. But it makes me happy just to look at the box. Yeah, until they fucking put a plug on the uh, streaming services deal and just vanishes from the service because some greedy fuck not decided that's the way it's gonna be. No, bitch. 
physical media rules. Ain't nobody gonna be able to take it away from you. Might as well just drop. Oh, come on. I still need to find the house. Okay, enough spacing out. I need to find the house keys. Oh, right. I stashed them down here. Why? What the fuck? That's not a key, goddammit. <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. I think I'm ready to go now. Can I get the kill killed? Uh, Ellie, she's gonna be so awkward. Can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to pack my goblin figurine. I wonder if Allison still has hers. This box of junk treasure is now yours. The first law of finders keepers. Yeah, I can read that. Need to pack my goblin figurine. So where the fuck Allison is the goblin figurine? Huh? Hey, little guy, you're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. So you don't need to pack it; you just need to pocket it. Oh, cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. Skip button doesn't fucking skip anything, you lying piece of shit. God damn it, she's gonna crash. Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in ten years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry. I. It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. Explain? God, it's good to see you. <sighs> Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? Nope. This is it. My last ten years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local That's coffee shops shit, to hang his man. art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? No. Hmm. The sweet taste of overcooked halibut. But seriously, yeah, it was home for a while, you know? Oh. Yeah, I that, that makes sense. I'm so also long. really happy to never eat that halibut again. So don't we planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. 
What the fuck is an Otis relationship that makes me so angry? It feels so forced. I don't know, I'm socially extremely awkward, but this is not right. No, really. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. So what? Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. Okay, can you stop breaching at fine, me again? For now. Mm. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting mm. again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Yes. Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. Huh? What? What the fuck? Why? Context. What about you? Allison? Whoa. Zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Anything? I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Was it really that bad? Pretty much. But it could definitely have been worse. Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth? Right. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? That one over there? No, the one just beyond it. You know, the one the elders say is haunted to spook little kids. Oh, right. Oh, a whole group of us were drinking at a bonfire down at the point and got dared to go inside. We didn't make it past the garden. <laughs> Sounds fun. Uh, it was. Words, game, dialogue, So, anything? So, really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view. Unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. You still thinking you might be my roomie? Thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? 
shoot? I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry. When you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty. Don't... And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please. For me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. I can't accept this. I'm just not there yet. All right. You gonna mope about that for the rest of the day, or what? Just hoped you might make an effort, that's all. An effort? It's an effort not to punch something whenever you say his name. Can't you just cut him a break? He was doing the best he could with a truly shitty situation. Okay. I tell you if I hadn't said much in the last 20 minutes about the game has sent plenty, it's just not connecting. Did you hear that? jerk you just always need to have the last word in other words a jerk nope principled i didn't need to dig in like that i'm sorry i'm sorry too i just hoped we could wrap I everything up with a grand gesture and move on to our perfectly normal lives what? This isn't normal? <laughs> Nothing about this game so far feels normal. Still your brother? Still your sister. Oh, right. There are siblings, so that's why I did. I ate my siblings. Great. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead. And stop apologizing Do I have time. a chance okay, to say sorry. anything? <laughs> what are you? Interactive game or just video play? Hey, it's me. Yep, and you didn't die in a fiery crash. It's so weird being Fine. back on this boat. Do. 
Hey, Allison, can we take the scenic route? Allison? Don't think she can hear you. Guess not. Good call, by the way. Scenic route's longer, but the view's worth the time. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing? Same here. You from around here? Just in town for a few days. I see. Any relatives in the area? <laughs> Charming. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing. Same here. You from around here? Just in town for a few days. I see. Any relatives in the area? Like I said, just passing through. Well, however short it may be, sure you'll appreciate your time. It's a beautiful place. Do you have people in Delos? My folks, a younger brother, and a lot of friends. Most people I know never moved on. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um... Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to hand it off in the past. Oh. Uh... What'd you say your name was? Just call me Tyler. All right. Good to meet you, Tyler. Likewise, sir. Tables club T, huh? Let's go around you of Alaska. I drop in bed at breakfast. Fiberglass transfer for five hit points outboard, 500 includes force, no bargaining, color text. What? Oh, canoe. No. Didn't get dance performance. There's no substitute for the car on the home. Under the sea, yeah. Oh, it's fucked. I'm not playing games to have that happen. Isn't hunting season almost over? Oh, I wonder if there'll be time to hit the buzzard hole while I'm here. I said no. Oh, uh, nothing. Isn't hunting season almost over? Almost. A draw for one of the last hunts of the season. Whoa, look at that antique. You're not one of those odd sixes, old and boring folks, are you? Wonder if there'll be time to hit the buzzard hole while I'm here. I said no. Oh, uh, nothing. I didn't talk to her, great.
first game, please. <sighs> it's so focused on atmosphere that it forgets that it needs to establish story. It's a sort of train crash. Trying to pick up in the middle isn't that good. If you can afford to spend some time building stuff up, sure. I don't even mind long build ups, but <laughs> this doesn't feel right. Basically, exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. You From the outside, it almost looks up. charming. Charm's Fuck not the props. problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. Yeah, that she's You right think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. After you. Uh, did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door's right there. I was gonna look into a window. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. No, it's not her. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah. We had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. I could break a window. You know civilized people don't do that, right? Oh, so we're civilized now? Well, maybe not. But we are trying to sell this place, and broken windows aren't exactly amenities. Not getting in this way. There are other ways inside. <sighs> the crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us. We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you remember all the other characters? The Moon Hag, the Ice King, the Old Bear? Most of them, I think. But the details are fuzzy. Hey, do you know what happened to the book with all the stories? No, no idea. But I'm sure it'll turn up when we clean this place out. Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. Not like she had the money for solar panels. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily. Remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. I remember she made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. Gotta hand it to her. She can make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail.
It's no good. I can't open this one either. It's okay. We'll find another way in. So, any idea how we're gonna get in? Hmm. We used to play under the house when we were kids. Yeah. We stashed all our goblin treasure down there. There was a hatch, right? That opened up into the laundry room? There was. I hope I can still fit. I'm a little taller than I was at 11. You're not a teenager then. Hmm. Open sesame. Let me guess. It's locked. Yup. Know any other secret passwords? Hmm. Honeydew? <laughs> nope. You need a hand with that? No, it should be fine. Okay. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. Please don't use the fucking shovel. Screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. Or a pry of some sort. No, you're right. You really want to go out there? No, you're I'm right. I'm looking for fucking screwdriver. God damn it, game. I wonder if there are still fish in the lake. Uncle Eddie taught us to fish here. You still fish? Nope. You? Every Sunday morning. Once I could leave fireweed, of course. Alone? Totally. At first, it kind of made me crazy. And then I started to really like it. It was relaxing. Really? Yeah, you know. The lake, the water, the sky. Me, just a speck in the middle of it all. A speck with a spliff? Always. The fuck is a spliff? I still can't believe I convinced you to climb that raggedy ass tree with me. Oh, come on. I was the one who fell out. And then I had to walk all the way to Delos Crossing to get Tessa to drive you to the hospital. I was fine. You had a concussion. I mean, are you really living life if you haven't gotten a concussion or two? Mm, I think that's the brain injury talking. Um, no beavers. Too bad. A picture of him would have helped with the sale. Yeah, city people love cute furry animals. Teeming with wildlife, but not the kind that eats the insulation. Situated comfortably in the ass of the world, solicitors will never come knocking. In fact, no one will ever come at all. Yep. <laughs> yep. We should do this for a living. Yes, yes we should. Riffing on random ideas, okay. Makes sense to me. Great, good to Remember rake. how whenever we lost our toys in the sand, we thought the mad hunter had stolen them? We thought the sandbox would hide us from the mad hunter, remember? That's right. The sand was, what, supposed to distort his piercing eye? The sandbox was one of her best ideas. Remember how she made it magically appear Christmas morning? Yeah. Somehow she kept us in the house all day. That must have been tricky. I can't believe how old we were when we stopped believing in Santa. Speak for yourself. I stopped way before you. I just kept the illusion going for your sake. Right. So all those letters every year, please, Santa, can I have a bike? That was all for my benefit. Got it. Aw, uh, you're out of your element, little guy. How do you know? Maybe he's a snowfish. How many sand castles did we build with this? None that survived. No, some hey, I think that's survived. the same rake I cut my foot on. Wait, your foot? Wasn't that me? What? Oh. Yeah, I think you're right. Hmm. 
Marianne always spoiled the birds. She liked animals way more than people. I can relate to that. Yep, me too. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty. Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. She did not like us using her tools. She was probably just afraid we'd hurt ourselves. Or she thought we'd go on a rampage and tear up her precious plants. And we would have, so. Homemade cleaning products may be better for the planet, but they do not have the same shelf life. Oh, add it to the shopping list. Hey, I see a screwdriver. Now all we need to do is get inside. Wait. I, um, feeling something strange. And don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know. But I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did. But that was a memory of us ten years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And, uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would now we're starting to be interesting. And why that memory? I don't know. It's, it's pretty handy. eerie. You need to find a key, so it's weird. We can. But our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. Hurry! Let's go see the silent frog. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. No, not this one. Speak no evil. Nothing here. And the last one of this thing in the middle. Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping a secret, buddy. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? Huh. Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. Birds. 
These birds should get a reward for watching the house all these years. Thank you for your service, little friends. That's nice. Sure, you want to go in there? Nope. This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Everything okay down there? Tyler? Ah! Oh, that's not funny. <laughs> then why am I laughing? Get us okay, but you're still an idiot. All right. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. You dropped the fucking... Why would you drop the screwdriver? Are you okay? What happened? I just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? Hi. I'm outside. But I can hear you in my head. So the voice is back? It's back. Yeah, no shit. Shit. I, uh, don't suppose you remember how to get to the hatch. I, I think so. We'll, we'll figure it out together. Dragons, straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. I would have taken the gold. Not even in your dreams. Why is there so much? Are you sure the Left fucking bedding is? After the goblins. Are you sure the bedding is stable? Nope. It was on the right. My bad. Okay, so I'm going left. Wow. Can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. I'm just gonna leave him there. treasure out of anything. Our imaginations were that powerful. Pink. It always had to be pink. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird.
Okay. So. <sighs> Why are you indulging so much in this? It's way too long. Tyler, are you in there? Tyler! Coming. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Well, we're here. Here we are. That's literally what he said, just in different order. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. All right, let's see. Broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. Marianne thought dryers were straight up evil. Energy hogs. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. <clears throat> if there is no electricity, Needs some serious cleaning or an exorcist. We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Hey, I just put on the mask and pretended to be a warrior. You were the one who got freaked out by it. Right. Not that she ever let me wear them very long. Bathroom still smells like Marianne. Good scrub, and we'll be rid of that too. We were so competitive about who measured taller, like we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. What are we gonna do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not gonna wear it. Donation pile it is then. Wow, I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us, like we were lab rats. There are so many times I looked in this mirror hoping somehow it'd show me something different. Handmade soap, still here after 10 years, impressive. You could say that about the entire house. No, fair enough. I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. So, we didn't decide on anything yet? Marianne's room. Let's not go in there until we ask about Agreed. She pinched every penny.
Eh, broke some days. And? What are you reading? A letter we wrote her. To apologize for breaking that stupid face, remember? Bore your kids into good behavior. Great parenting strategy. Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. What about you? You think you're gifted? I wouldn't be here if I was. What? Like, in this house, with me? I mean anywhere near here. I'd be working in Juno or Seattle or something. Hmm. Gonna write to that, too. I have no skills, no talents, no experience, no nothing. I don't remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these I might keep. She took so many pictures. Yeah. Like she had to document every second of our lives. You can keep some of them, if you want. No thanks. I mean, I like the photos of us, but I don't think I can forget that she was the one aiming the camera. Can't even. It feels like I don't have nearly enough dialogue with her for some fucking reason. She was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? Nah. Saving planet predates whoever fucking gore always. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here. With big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah. Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. No Marianne. We'd use our voice so we didn't wake her up. And then we'd be up all night telling stories and watching the fire die. And Marianne was none the wiser. Um, Mom? About me joining the hockey team? Mom? Sorry, why Baby, Whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah. And completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me, too. True. But it felt personal with me. Hey, I won't even go. Guess we there. never had time to complete the collection. These came out of one of the prize machines at the Vecchi store, right? Yeah. You'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic, out pops a sticker. The fuck do you think magic is, you weirdos? Best mom. You think we ever really believed that, or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix.
Yeah, well, she could have tried a little harder to fix her own head. Can you picture Marianne talking to a shrink? No. And speaking of... Therapy's expensive, and I'm fine. How you feeling about being back? <sighs> I thought I knew what to expect, but... Everything keeps catching me by surprise. My nerves are completely raw. I get it. How about you? You okay? It's a lot to process. I'll get there, but I'm not there yet. Just glad we're together. Me too. I went over what I thought it would feel like to walk through that door. I was wrong. I know exactly what you mean. See, that dialogue just ended. Like two sentences too short. One for each of them. you have such a weirdly open space here? Where'd you come from? Yo, what are you doing down there? What do you think I'm doing? Trying to figure out if anything in Marianne's mess is worth keeping. Any progress? Not really. What about you? What are you doing up there? Uh, you know, just plotting world domination. <sighs> it's a big responsibility. Not sure if you can hack it, Ronan. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. I guess it is about time to check our bedroom. I'll be up in a second. There are so little of this uh, that you have to have trigger dialogue for checking out the bedroom. Come on. I'm waiting for you. Where'd you come from? Does not care. <sighs> now this, this feels like home. How did you convince me to let you put this up? It was my favorite movie, back then. So much for my dream of being a hockey star. Marianne thought sports were too aggressive, too competitive, and too group -thinky. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. What I found. What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It was in that chest the whole time? All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. I'm not reading any of that. Ah, uh, where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day 
she found out about it. Give it back! Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that! I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl! I hate you! You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. Interesting. If you didn't reveal there are two of them. So I, don't know how I never ambiguous. saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me to keep me from transitioning. Yeah, some people are like that. Tyler. There is no way you could have known she'd go that far. I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. I will not finish Okay, here, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well... Let's go find it. You think her room is still locked? It always was. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know, but we'll have to eventually, and I need it back. Hey, you. I just found your twin under the house. He's seen better days. Oh. This one wasn't mine. Look, it's the game we made, Lusion Tramway. That game never made any sense. Didn't stop us from playing all day. Dude, we were kids. All we needed were rocks and bird feathers. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. Ugh. Some of our old toys give me the creeps. Okay, I guess that's it. finally caught the hag, his furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! The Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. Ice King, the hunter... What the fuck? Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. 
Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. Hand it over. What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. No. Please. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touche. This was melancholy because it was only anniversary when she had run away from home. Sensing sadness, her first friends showed up at her door. They were headed by Pelican, Pius, and Attentive, and organized by Moose, stalwart and far sighted. The old bird was there. His claws so sharp as well as the big frog parting away. Even the naughty muskrat, who almost never had time for anyone, had come. Ben invited her to ride on her back, promising no wolf would harry her bed. And then uh, the animals led her to a furry glen. Fabio's party had been prepared. There was a buffet of seafood, pelican, and it was rough from her never empty bake. Beak, not a bake. Uh, the arrows fed with winking fairy lights, and moose had arranged after clouds filled the sky. Cracarious frog mixed up fizzing drinks under the musk red done anything in particular. Mooching of everybody else is hard work. She had a very good time at the party, such a good time, she forgot to say thank you to any of her friends. Noticing this, uh, the fairies devised a twist of a mischief. When the princess went to open her gifts, she found three identical boxes. At the edge of the glen. Puzzled, she turned back and cast. At the entire party had vanished because you have taken uh, your friends for granted, called the fairies. We have hidden them from you, but we like games. Guess who has given you each of these presents and you will be. You'll get your friends back. Okay, so I like on piles and attentive. I like on oh. I 
that it worked. To bear and muskrat maybe? I think I'm just gonna force this open. You sure? We're not in a rush, and we'll have to fix it. All right, one more try. Pelican has to be first. Like I was thinking that these are hints, but no, maybe it's just the text. You sure you're done? Maybe if we put our heads together. Yeah. Yes. I can try again. Are you sure you're going to be able to crack it? I, uh, need some help. I've got a few ideas. Okay, I read the story. What was I supposed to get from that? Look at the wheels. The symbols are the same as the animals in the story. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the princess had to guess who'd given her the presents. Yes. I bet we have to do the same thing. So the torch, it's supposed to reveal truth and separate good from evil. Marianne could have used one of those. The animal we're looking for kind of sounds like a judge or a cop. Mm. We didn't have any cops in the stories, but Maybe just a rule follower? Yeah, I'll keep looking. Pelican. So, one of the animals gave her a sword. It must have been from someone who wanted to take care of her physically. That makes sense, you know, pious and attentive. Musk red. I'm totally stumped by the bag of coins. Yeah, none of the animals were especially rich. Maybe it's not about the money then. Maybe it's about wanting to help someone in need. What? Frog? Is 
don't think that this is bear. You sure you're done? Maybe if we put our heads together. Yeah, I could try again. You think you're any closer to an answer? I think I need some help. Okay, let's think this through. I'm 21, and I still can't crack a puzzle made for 11-year-olds. We just need to think like Marianne. I'm personally glad that doesn't come naturally to us. Any ideas about the torch? Hmm. They mention fairy lights in the story. It could be tied to that. Fairy lights. You remember that word by word? Seafood, but I got it served from her and never emptying. I was filled to be drinking fairy lights. At the moose? What? You think you're any closer to an answer? I still need more time. Alright, but I'm here if you want to brainstorm. I'm 21, and I... I'm 21, and I still can't crack a puzzle made for 11-year-olds. We just need to think like Marianne. I'm personally glad that doesn't come naturally to us. Any more thoughts about the sword? There was something in there about one of them wanting to protect her from wolves. Yeah, bear. I got that time. Whoever gave her the coin purse must have cared about her. But it sounds like they all did. Hmm. The princess said the person who gave her the purse was worried about her being able to eat. Maybe it's about the food? The food? Pelican. Really? Yeah. A lot of our stories mention food. You know, since we never had enough of it. <sighs> My hungry goblins. Okay, yeah. So, who wanted to feed her? And boom, we're in. There's light on, what the hell? So many years, I expected this to feel more, you know, like a win. Speak for yourself. I'm the one who solved the riddle. Why do I feel like you're not going to let me forget that? Where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Sewing lessons were the absolute worst. She made all our clothes. I'm sure she needed the help. And I, for one, am happy I can fix a torn seam. Hmm. So she was standing here, spying through the window, drawing us while we played. She always had her eye on us. My entire body just shivered. Hmm. I tried to read this one. I can never figure out the order of the chapters, though. Didn't the author go insane or something? No wonder Miriam liked it. Stephen Orchard, I have no idea who that is. 
straight in the trash? No. I bet we could sell it on the internet. True. Maybe we could sell it to the guy who collects John Wayne Gacy's clown paintings. She and Tessa were best friends. Until suddenly they weren't. Wonder what happened. Either Tessa got sick of Marianne's moods, or Marianne got sick of Tessa's judgment. I have a feeling that it wouldn't stay in the frame. It's here! I knew it. I fucking knew it! Do you think she read it? Of course! She was nosy as hell. Tyler. What? Look. The fuck is the virtual secret thing? What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. It doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad at I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now, when I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake, thinking the world made any kind of sense. <laughs> Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. You're still indoors, you moron. There's still air there for decades. Are you really, really sure? Thank you for watching. Please have a good one.